back off of the trip and uh, low scoring the way that you wanted here tonight? Is there any extra value added to it? Yeah, it's two points, and they all count right now the same, and we needed them. And uh, again, we didn't didn't really uh, start the game. We were a little slow, but that's that's normal coming back from the West. And uh, we battled. Everyone battled. Every guy uh, on our on our bench that played tonight was in it, and and uh, you know we played defense. And uh, Lion was was huge again, made huge saves, and and kept us in the game. And then we got. In the second, we got our, our feet moving, got the cycle going, and scored a big goal in the power play, and, and then uh, got the point, and, and then we got the extra one. So, huge team win tonight. Patrick broke down the game winner from his perspective. How did it unfold for you? Um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I saw he uh, the spinorama, and I, I was there for him if he needed me. And, and then, uh, you know, Benny got it, and I was in the corner and just, uh, Figured to pick up as much speed as possible, and ended up drawing two guys uh, to me, and and uh, you know they did a good job. I didn't feel like I could get to the net, and I just dropped it back. I knew Kaner was there, and and uh, you know he did the rest. So that was a, a huge win. Great atmosphere. Our fans were were unbelievable, and and uh, you know it just uh, uh, a special win, a huge win for our hockey team. Yeah, I think we've we've done it, and it's not the way we we want to want to play is um, playing from behind all the time. But um, you know, I think our team offense, our depth, it's been different guys every night chipping in and scoring goals, and and uh, you know we we have uh, guys that can put the puck in the back of the net. So it's it's a matter of time, and and uh, you know that was games are going to get harder here, and and they have after the break, and. Um, tighter checking and, and you got to score on the power play and you got to capitalize on your chances. So we were uh, we were all over it and then it was nice to uh, to break through. Patrick, how key was it to hold it? Was satisfying to hold a team like that, like you scored like that, one goal? Yeah, I mean, uh, like Lark said, I think we we really you know had a team effort tonight. Um, you know, including the penalty kill. I mean, we had uh, we had a great kill tonight um, against one of the top power plays in the league. So they did a great job. Um, you know, always always huge to win the special teams game, power play scores, um, kill off all the penalties, and uh, um, get great goaltending. So it felt like a playoff game tonight, to be honest with you. You know, low scoring, the crowd was into it, and I know the Avalanche Red Wings is a big rivalry, so people are excited about it. But uh, you know, you know, great win. Uh, like tonight? Uh, no, I didn't. But um, I just remember growing up and just like some of those games, they were wars back then, you know, with, uh, um, you know, them being in the same conference conference, and it seemed like one of the teams was, was coming out of the West every year and uh, um, fun games to watch. So um, that's kind of cool. You get the, get the perspective from, uh, from playing in it and uh, playing against a team like that. That's one of the top teams in the league. So um, it was a nice matchup tonight. Yeah, every game's huge right now. I think um, this group and this team has done a great job uh, to get into this position and uh, be playing these meaning meaningful games. So, um, you know, the thing about it, like even, uh, you know, right now, I know when you, you think about it, when you get into playoffs, you have a day off and then you're right back at it and, and that game's just as important as the one before. So that's kind of the attitude we have right now that, um, you know, every game is almost a must win and, uh, and you try to pick up as many points as you can here down the stretch. Yeah, it, it's huge and um, something we haven't had. And, um, you know, I think, uh, like I said earlier, we have guys that can put the puck in the back of the net and on all lines. And, you know, it's, it's uh, um, you know, scoring by committee. And, and every guy, I, I feel, feels like they, they contribute and we're all pulling in the same direction, which is huge. And, and we're going to need 
going uh, going forward, going down the stretch here. Yeah, I, I feel that. Um, you know, I think uh, um, we're in a good spot now, but we want more, and and we know. Um, um, well, we don't know what the trade deadline could be like, but we know from from last year what what happened, and and um, we're in a better spot now, but we we're not satisfied. We want more, and we want to to keep pushing, and and uh, um, you know, we're, I don't feel like this group will ever get comfortable, but. We want to want to get in a spot where we're we're um, you know the last couple of weeks of the season we're we're trying to win games to see who we're going to play against. Dylan, as you guys play these meaningful important games later in the year, do you feel fresher in some ways than you did in years past? Where your guys are kind of just playing out the string at this point, or have you made a point to really elevate your game just given the stakes right now? Um, you know, I think. One thing I've worked on is is to let go of the past and and. We got a lot of new guys in, in this locker room, and it's not the the same group as 2018, 2019. And um, you know, I, it's it's not a, a poor me thing. It's it's uh, we got a lot of guys that have worked extremely hard all season and sacrificed a lot. And um, you know, we got good players in that room that that uh, um, want to write a new story. And and you know, I think that's been my my. Uh, um, thought process all year and, and uh, you know, just trying to, to play for the guys in that room and, and try and play consistently uh, every night. As you said, Dylan, with, you know, you know, the trade deadline two weeks away, you're not sure what Steve's going to do, but does this kind of win, do you think, strengthen your resume as a team to show him that you guys are closer to a you know, worthy playoff team, maybe, maybe be a buyer this year? I think every, every point right now is huge. and. Uh, we don't pay attention to that too much in the room. Um, we're, you know, we got three games and four nights, and um, we set ourselves up really well for for a great week. And and got St. Louis coming in here, and then we go to Chicago, which will be a really great uh, great night. And uh, you know, that's kind of the focus is the day to day. Um, obviously, we know it's a business, but uh, we're just trying to to win hockey games right now. Um, I just think the depth, the depth is the biggest thing. Um, and that's how you win in this league, you know. Uh, every team I've been a part of that has won. Um, we had depth and you didn't know whose turn it was going to be that night to uh, um, step up and be the hero for the team. And I think that's kind of the position we're in now. It seems like, um, you know, uh, it could be anyone on any given night. So um, I think that's one of the, the big things about our team. But just the... Um, you know, I think Lark said it too, just the mindset of not being comfortable and, um, you know, trying to get better every day and not being satisfied where we're at. Not really. I mean, I think uh, just watching at the beginning of the season, it seemed like they were in, were in every game and, uh, um, you know, dominated a lot of the games, controlled the play. So, um you know, just uh, from talking to uh, to Newsy and Steve and watching the games, I felt like it would be a good fit, and you can slot in and not have um, you know the weight of the sh the weight of the world on your shoulders to come in and, and have that much pressure um, because we have so much depth and guys can can step up and score. So um, yeah, that's been that's been it for me. Yeah, he's. He's been a little bit of a overtime assassin. He was he was <laughs> calling himself in the room, <laughs> but uh, you know I think it's again it's just um, we have talent back there and and on our roster and and um, you know guys that are good hockey players. So he's got in, you know he's a little bit of a more steady you know behind the scenes defenseman, but uh, he blocks shots. He, he plays hard, he defends uh, his teammates. So, um, you know, when you see a guy like that uh, making big plays, it, uh, you know, it gives you a huge boost. Dylan, have you gotten a jolt of energy out of playing alongside Patrick? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think, uh, 
you know, anytime you get to to play with a player like uh, Kaner, it's you know, it's uh, it's special and it's it's a lot of fun, you know. And I think the way he's come in and handled himself with with uh, our young players and and uh, you know set a set, sets a great example for um, you know not only a hockey player but as a teammate and uh, you know a dad and and uh, and stuff like that. So it's been a, it's been great having him. I think. Our, our building has got a boost. Um, you know, we, we call it the Caner effect. Uh, you know, you, you notice that uh, the top of the, the upper bowl is, is, is full every night. And, and uh, you know, it's nice to, nice to have that. And we saw him pumping up the crowd there uh, on his own when out of the scrum. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just uh, it's a lot of fun right now. Yeah, I mean, I knew uh, how special a player he was playing with him at World Championships. And uh, um, I think one thing I've noticed is just uh, his leadership, um, how, you know, not only can you say the right things in the locker room, but you bring it on the ice every night. And he's obviously been very productive offensively, but the way he's uh, in every situation for the team, penalty kill, big face-offs, um, up a goal uh, on the ice. Uh, obviously, he's so effective scoring goals and putting up points, but um, I just think the overall total package is, is something that sticks out. I think they're just, you know, once there's one breakdown, uh, you know, the odd man Russians can, can start flowing the other way if. Uh, the other team doesn't convert, so um, it seems like there was a couple odd man rushes, breakaways. Um, you know, I thought uh, Lark's described the play perfect, just him picking up speed and drawing two guys to him, and um, being able to find me behind was a great look. But uh, yeah, it's I think it's fun for the fans and fun for um, you know people watching just uh, when the overtimes like that because um, you know three on three is so much fun to watch. Yes, I, I doubt we were favorite today. Um, good, obviously, um, Alex was a big part of it. I actually liked our game through two periods. Um, felt like we deserved better than being down one nothing, um, but we hung in there. Uh, again, it's just you don't win that often trailing going to the third. Uh, and you certainly don't do as many times as we've done this year. So I think it speaks a lot in our group. Not chasing it. I think we stick to our game. Um, we don't need to chase the extra goal. It's going to come if we do things correct, uh, the extra goal or two goals. And I think our guys have done a pretty good job of that. I think a little step in our maturity as a group. There's times when you're trailing, you may lean or cheat, and you give up some easy offense, and then it kind of piles on you. So I think the, the group's done a pretty good job of that. I don't know. We had some great – it was a really poor start. Um, I don't know, maybe it was too much coaching, talking about their team speed and maybe giving up too much space, but we just gave a ton of ice, which isn't us. We're usually a fairly well-gapped team. We didn't execute. I mean, we had some easy eight-foot passes. Also, we iced the puck. So not a really good uh, start. Um, but I thought we got our legs towards the end of the first, and I thought from the second on – I thought we were a pretty good team, and I think we got what we deserved today, and it's a full two points. Eric, you talk about the depth of your team, team concept, but it must be pretty nice at the end to have two really skilled guys like Larkin. Yeah, of course. What I, what I like is we went through a four on three, and we went through two other sets of forwards before we got back to uh, Dylan and Patty. Um, again, speaks to that volume. It speaks to the depth uh, of our group so um, again just real positive uh, we've won a few games like this this year but I really felt um, we got what we deserved I, I kind of I liked our game for most of the night against a very good team yeah this year we we're still bad but again it's tough our last 22 game we had an American Hockey League plus team so it's I mean that's it's a lot different, but no, it's just again, we're just we're deeper. Uh, last year, when we were um, pushing towards that 
playoff line you know, before the deadline. I think it was a huge overachievement from the group. This year, it just it doesn't feel like that. You know, obviously, Vegas doesn't feel that way, as we talked today, uh, as we were an underdog yet again, which we should have won again. This is more of a credit to our opponent. But you know, this feels a little different. I think we can win in different ways, um, depth at all three positions, and thankfully so. Uh, I think Dylan's game is, I think he feels he doesn't have to do it all himself, and it doesn't have to be a great offensive game to win. Uh, and I think there's some growth uh, in him. Um, uh, obviously, tonight he was involved in both goals, but I think he's learning to manage his game, win some shifts, um, set up the next line, which I think is some step uh, or growth in his maturity. Yeah, he's our best player. He's our 1C. Um, I think he's a star in this league. Uh, I get some of the next tier guys, McKinnon, McDavid, uh, Kucher, some guys that have come through here. Uh, but I, you know, he feels like that for us. And um, obviously he gets the minutes and the situations like that. Um, just a really good player, and I think we're very fortunate to have him. OT Benny, the boys were calling him in there. So, uh, one, just Benny's had a really good season up to this date. His game is really elevated. Uh, he's been good all year. So a little confidence in overtime um, doesn't surprise me. He's playing at a pretty high level. So many extra effort plays out there tonight. In tight games like this, do those stand out more to you than versus other games? Yeah, of course. Um, they win a few more battles. Obviously, uh, a little more urgency around the net uh, defensively. Um, obviously, we had to fight through a really good power play late in the period, and we got pinned there a little bit after in the five-on-five. Five. Um, and I think that goes for the goalie, too. Um, you know, his ability to battle um, on second place, but battle through traffic um, speaks a lot about him and season he's having also. Yeah, I think there's there's goals out there that we couldn't find last year. I mean, we find that throughout all of the guys. So again, I just, of course, Kane, Debrinket, and you know some additions like that, uh, Sprong. Uh, but it's just again, we're, we're that depth and you know maybe quote unquote that, that star. You know, we are finding some of those goals. Uh, I can't tell you how many times last year we would leave a game feeling really good about our team game. And we're on the you know one goal bad side of this, so yeah, I think that's a big part of it. Thanks, guys.